there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's good to see you. Thank you very much for coming back. We've got a cold open where we're checking out a demo of Oceanhorn. Now, uh, this is a demo that dropped out of, what is it actually, Monsters of Uncharted Seas. Oh, very nice. Um, this is a demo that actually popped up on the PlayStation Network about four and a half weeks ago, and I've not got around to playing it, so we're actually on our still on our gratuitous gaming binge as we try to run through all the demos and experiences that we've managed to miss out over the last couple of weeks. Just with the fact that we had a backlog of stuff previously, and then we played catch-up, and then we let stuff kind of like flow back over the top of ourselves, and then we had a key, couple of key events happen all at the same time. So we've got a little bit of an adventure in front of us. Hope you've actually got, be, got your traveler's hats on, because we're going to go to many, many, many interesting places as we take a look at all these things. So what is Oceanhorn Monsters of the Uncharted Seas? Hmm. <gasps> Fucking I I put I knew nothing of this game. Okay, I could tell as soon as I start hearing the tunes as well. Nobu! Yomatsu! Yomatsu-san! I'm leaving tonight and I'm not coming back, kid. Uh, My fate is tied to a monster from the depths of time. Is it a traveling father or a traveling uncle? The ocean whore. I, I must go and find it. It's going to be my white whale. Just call me Ishmael. This is all happening sooner than I thought, and I'm forced to act. Well, I'm forced to act on a regular basis because I'm usually falling for the drama of a game, but... I lost your mother. This necklace is the last thing left of her. Keep I want you to have it. Keep it close. Shove it up your ass. Just like my father's watch. Damn! Your way to an island of a friend. He will help you to prepare for what is coming. I know I'm asking too much of you, but this is the only way. To All right, so that's obviously a robot. Yes. The time has come. Waba fat. <laughs> right, so odd over dungeon kind of space. This is actually kind of reminded me of the really old um, isometric like uh, RPGs, just with this, the the shape and the style of it. It's like trying to take that look and then apply it with modern graphics, which is an odd com combination, but it looks it works. Although, admittedly, the character with their tiny legs and massive arms are kind of like, well, okay. Kind of like proportion has just been abandoned here, but uh, characterization has probably increased. Yes, that was very, very silent. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Link. I break the pots, I run around, and I find rupees, and I smash out some more, and I steal all of your... gear. <laughs> right, so essentially it, it does feel like we're playing like an old Zelda game. Still have the same nightmare. Your father often visited this island on his travels when he was younger. I'm sure he did. Did he break all of your fucking pots? Ah! Fuck you! <coughs> no, I'm inside your pots. That's why I'm going to throw them at you. <laughs> Pretty sure the master key is not in here, so uh, I'm gonna go back out and continue with the plot. 
Sun Sun Cliff. <laughs>
three subs and you're down, bitch. Hmm. So what do I do next? Actually, I remember there being three things I need to do. Um, I can't remember what it was. Um, is there a menu to tell me? Alright. Pocket money. Smart guy. All right, so you level up. So there's actually this wide leveling system. Okay, weird. Um, flashbacks as well. So I'm assuming this I have to do something important. All right, find your father's sword and shield. Yay! All right now we have a story to learn. A long time ago, these islands were the mighty kingdom of Arcadia. The Age of Enlightenment led Arcadians to outstanding scientific discoveries. Like death and a black hole, son, won't you come and wash away the rain? No oh, black hole, son, won't you come? Won't you come? Against Arcadia. Black hole, son. With the aid of his dark magic and the dire folk, Mesmeroth dug deep into the ground. Okay. Something that should have stayed in the depths of the earth. And the creature arose. Trust. So assuming it actually is the monstrosity created by the Arcadians. Left over from the creation of the world. Triloth. Arrived to the gates of Arcadia, carrying the dark energy Triloth. Soon the light from the world and from the hearts of <sighs> the Well, the light of hope and all that diddly do. Yes, society disappeared back into darkness. Well, that also goes to show why we've actually gone back from a ecologically kind of like destructive technological route towards a very limited population because we all died. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Misappropriation of technology for a war machine? Yes, that's exactly what we shouldn't do in reality. It's amazing that these games come up with these completely falsified ideas that actually may have happened or never actually would have happened. Where people spend more money on weapons of violence than they possibly do on carrying and preparing for whatever there is a problem with the population otherwise. Yep, I mean, that's not, that's, that's not, that's not a common thing. So, by the way, I, I just talked right through all that. Alright, he wants me to go back. Motherfucker, just give me the master key so I can leave the goddamn island. So, obviously, I don't know how far this goes. Um, and it's nighttime, so we have creatures to attack. And they are really simple, just like moblins in the original Zelda. Wow, they, uh, like, I mean, I just want through three or four of those guys. They're, they're not there to actually be a threat. They're there just to kind of, like, you know. Yeah, I'm fine with it. It's, um, they're there just to kind of, like, be hindrances. What up, RoboDog? Here to have three eyes. Mechanical version of the things I was eating. Good God, no! <laughs> Next morning. All the people are dead! So worth it. Be gone, you devils! Uh oh, we disturbed the balance of the world. Not good. Old scriptures tell about sacred emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Uh, is our necklace one of them? Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world. Does that mean our mother was a goddess? In the catastrophe, at the same time as Oceanhorn appeared. Her name was Ruby Rose. You're actually part gem. <gasps> oh my god! To it's a retelling of Steven Universe's favorite video game. Find out what happened to the sacred emblems. 
Here is what I know of them. There are four of them. One's in a fire cavern, one's in an ice cavern, one of them's in a tree. Oh, wait, hang on. That's the Zelda thing. Never mind. It's hidden in the Perta Desert that was... Holy shit, this really is a Zelda game? Most of its beauty withered along with the Aurus. Wise and fearless bird people. Bird people? Seriously, are you purposely just ripping the balls? Out of Zelda with us? The world. I mean, I'm not displeased by it because it looks like a cool way to actually do a Zelda game, which I don't think Zelda have actually gone for this look yet. I mean, even in their 3D games, they kind of like still had it from like that tight third person rather than actually going for their isometric kind of look they normally do. It's, it's a good, it's a it's a powerful and interesting choice. I will tell you more about it later. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Probably after the demo's finished. Seek the sacred emblems. This is the only way to get to Oceanhorn and find out what happened to your father. Oh no! Well, let's give him the master key. Whoop! Master key, master key, master key. <laughs> I'm going in here. I'm going to see what's inside the box. Inside the box, inside the box is. So even does the hard pieces. Yeah, so this is simply taking the absolute piss out of it being a um, Zelda clone. Yeah, guys, this is actually, uh, this is this game is charming as hell. I could actually be on board with this. Um, but if, it's just the fact that it actually intentionally yips the, the Zelda style so hard. I'm just going to jump out of here for a second. Because there is leveling up in this and there's actually, a, there's more depth to it. Than one would imagine and there's a lot more story to be told i'm sure but just flat out from that opening couple of segments that first bit of the game it does purposefully make you think it's a zelda game it, it's it's not hiding any fact of that um everything from your missing uncle at the very beginning father in this case um there being a great evil across the land a guy lurking around who's going to attack uh, yeah i mean standard jrpg fair but uh it's just it just it's just the dungeon choices and that a little bit and i'm sure it subverts and changes that so goddamn well later on and of course with music by nobu yamatsu and kinji ito was it as well um this is going to have some probably decent uh backing tracks for any of the story elements and uh, admittedly as cheese as it felt there now i wasn't displeased by what i saw so Oceanhorn gets my fucking vote of uh, confidence. I actually would check this out whenever it comes further along because I could start like the Zelda games never really kind of they weren't long games. They just kind of like if you wandered and looked around at a lot of cool stuff and just wanted to buy yeah, like just getting yourself together ready to actually go for a dungeon. If you knew what way you're going through them, they didn't take long to complete. So yeah, Oceanhorn, Zelda on the PS4 essentially. And I'm actually looking forward to checking out further in the future. If you want to see more of Ocean Horn, of course, all you have to do is comment underneath the video, share the video, and let me know that this is what you want to see more of. But if you want to just see more of me talking about more games, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, or the follow button, or the like button, or whatever ones are actually anywhere on any side of the screen. If you've enjoyed this experience, I look forward to seeing you back here again. And if you want to find me any other way, rather than actually having to do the follow and the notifications and all those kind of things that could get in your way of your day, all you have to do is remember one thing. Pastiche of skin. Just type it into Google. Y'all find me. I'm not trying to hide, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see... Oh, wait. Actually, one more thing. If you're watching this on YouTube, of course, there will be a little bot going up there. One of them will be cold opens for our previous movies and games that we've actually looked at here on the channel. On the far will be actually recent videos, probably the most recent one that's released. And over here is a video just for you, based on YouTube analytics and all the things that actually you've chosen. It will pick a video for you out of the stuff that I have made. And this is the one that you should be watching next. Don't trust the playlist, just pick this one. This is the one that you should be watching. And I hope you actually enjoy it. And I will see all you dudes in the next Zelda Club. Bye. <laughs>